welcome back to Livy Says. Today I'm doing a swap haul with the lovely Shah or Charmaine from Baby Doll XOXO. I'm going to put a link here. If you haven't subscribed to her, go do it now because you guys are weird. She's lovely. She has great videos, really great reviews, um, lovely tutorials, and fantastic giveaways. So go subscribe to her now. She's a very, very good friend of mine on YouTube. We decided to do a swap haul and show you what the other got for us, and it's awesome, and I'm excited. So I'm going to show you everything, and I'm, I'm really in a good mood today. I'm like on high. Boom. I'm going to stop dancing now and embarrassing myself. So, I will... St what shall I start with? Let's, let's make some room on my table of dreams. Okay, so first off, she sent me this gorgeous little cupcake sort of photo or note holder thingy. And I find it really amusing that she got this for me. And when I do an apartment tour, if I do an apartment tour, more like, um, I will show you that I have a sugar bowl shaped like a cupcake. So I think it's funny because she doesn't even know that, that she sent me a cupcake note holder because now I can have cupcake everything in my house, which is awesome. So thank you, this is so cute. The bag is adorable. She's got my style bang on by no my style normally. It's a combination of very, very classic and very reserved, but mixed in with that sort of edgy modern side. So I like to twist things up. I like to still look like classic and classy and, you know, to dress appropriately, but at the same time, I like to sort of incorporate modern modern themes and modern things. So she got me this little bag and I think it's adorable. I love the fact that it's black, it's got some ruching on the front, but I love the sequin and little mini studding detail down the front. And I actually don't have a bag this size, never got one. And in a way, I suppose it's going to be incredibly useful for when I want to actually go out, you know, to a club or to a bar and I don't want to take a massive bag because I'm a massive bag person. It's terrible, but um, it's actually going to be really useful, I think, personally. And it's got a lovely strap as you can see and this is apparently from candies don't you know uh which apparently is again from kohl's and it was 28 dollars. but she did say they had a sale on kohl's so i don't know how much it would be if it was in the sale but that's apparently how much it retails for so yay so nice look at the little studs it's the little combination of the little studs and the little beads and the little sequins that i like i think it's adorable and i will show you this lovely cardigan she picked up for me this is from the Simply Vera Vera Wine Collection, and I think that is her, her, what's it called line? I'm going to go with her department store line, you know the line that designers produce, uh, which is like their cheaper line, that's what it's from. And it looks like this, it's black, and it is a long sleeved, and it has, I'm going to lift this up really high to show you, here we go, see if it's going to come out on camera, this is going to look really silly, here we go hoping that's on there. <laughs> it's got a really long sort of draped, very elongated cowl neck. I wouldn't even call it a cowl neck, I just call it like, it's, it's like a drop, a drop neck. So it's still a v-neck shape, but it drops just like that. Can you see? Yes, we can see now. Right, and it has buttons, as you can see, but the way that it falls, it falls like that, so it's very long line. Shara got it for me in an XL, but the thing is that I'm not actually an XL, because of the way the neckline falls, it's going to look really oversized and very like slouchy and quite chic in that respect. So it'll be really, really nice paired with black riding pants or black leggings or even with jeans if you're kind of work casual. I don't really wear jeans ever. You will never see me in a pair of jeans. But um, it's going to look really nice with the sort of clothes, the outfits that I wear ordinarily. So thank you. It's gorge. Mm. Okay. She got me a stocking with an L on it because it's for Livy and Jingle Bells. Anyway, I thought it was adorable and I'm going to hang it as a decoration on my Christmas tree in my apartment. And we don't really get things like this over here. You'd have to go somewhere like Harrods or Selfridges or Harvey Nichols or somewhere that probably does have a big Christmas shop. And I think this is lovely and because we don't really get things like this over here, we only get very simple Christmas things in our regular department stores unless you go to somewhere like Harrods or to Selfridges. So this is gorgeous and I'm going to put this on my tree and it's going to look adorable and I'm probably going to like put little candy canes in it. So because I'm a candy cane freak, so you need to know about me, love them. Every year they come out, I buy like hundreds upon hundreds so I can have them through the rest of the year. And I go to Starbucks at Christmas time and they've got the candy canes out and I'm like, om nom nom, so yeah, it's a problem. But I'm gonna put candy canes in here and make it look all Christmassy and adorable. We're gonna move on to skincare. And Shah sent me the Yes To Blueberries. I know it's like Yes To Carrots, but this is like their skincare line, so I'm guessing that's the Yes To Blueberries line. I cannot tell you how much I love these. One of them is for nighttime and one of them is for daytime, and I love them. The thing that got me first, apart from packaging, because packaging is very sweet, is the fact that it comes in a pump. And 
for a start, that's really hygienic, and I really appreciate that because if some of you, it's the same with foundation. If it doesn't have a pump, I get quite stressed by it. Like um, when it has a pump, like this one here from Becca, it's a lot more hygienic, and I find that you're less likely to break out because bacteria isn't going back into it. So that is one thing that really got me about this. The other thing I'm gonna have to show it to you now. Use it. Any excuse for me to use it, basically, is if I get it out. This sort of product formulation. It is not like regular gloopy moisturizers, and it actually reminds me of the moisturizers. If you live in this country, you know what I'm talking about. The moisturizers by Simple because they have this similar, almost like whipped, fluffy sort of formulation, where it's not heavy. It's very very light, but I don't know how else to explain it. But when you moisturize it in, it sinks in almost immediately. And you're, you're not left with a horrible residue, there's no stickiness, there's none of that horrible tight feeling. It's just gorgeous. It's got blueberries and cotton thistle and aloe and olive fruit oil. And apparently it's good for like anti-aging. And while I may not be old yet, um, the thing is, is that ah, it's never too soon, in my opinion, to start really looking after your skin. I've been looking after my skin for a very long time. I don't use abrasive products or harsh chemicals, anything like that on my skin. I get really worried when people do. I love these, I love these, and I love how my skin feels afterwards. I sort of feel like, because I use these after I've used my Sonicleanse, which is like the cheaper version of the Clarisonic. And it's really, really good. I'm doing a review on that in a later video. I've got so many videos to film, it's crazy. But um, I use these afterwards, and because the, the, the Sonicleanse is so deep cleansing, I was about to say penetrating and thought that was inappropriate. I just said it anyways, it doesn't make much of a difference. <laughs> Um, I find that these really sink in even faster than they would ordinarily and the skin on my hand again it's it just feels like glowy it doesn't feel sticky it feels just very soft and very smooth so the overnight hydrating cream is a little bit different it has blueberries shea butter noni fruit and sunflower seed oil so similar ingredients except just like I think this one's just again a bit more heavy duty just because overnight you know you need to really pamper pamper I was trying to say like pamper and prep at the same time as premper stupid word you really do need to pamper your skin overnight. It's incredibly important. So I love these. I cannot praise them enough. I love, 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 love them. So thank you so, so much. I may have to ask you uh, to get me these again. Just saying. I think I'm gonna show loads of lip products now. Shah obviously knows me very, very well. The thing I tend to hoard are lip products, whether it's like lip balm, whether it's lipstick, lip gloss, whatever it is, I hoard it. So first of all, some more stuff from the Esther Carrots line. She picked me up these three lip balms, and this is all the Esther Carrot stuff. This one is the berry one. I haven't opened the carrot or the pomegranate one yet, but so far I'm loving the berry one. And they're flavours rather than colours, so as you can see, it's just regular lip balm stick. But, again, 95% organic, all natural. And the thing that I like, apart from the fact that they're organic, they are paraben-free, again, and the ingredients, they're not tested on animals, yay! But again, with all the ingredients, it's not like, oh, look at all this petrol and stuff and all these chemicals. It's like coconut oil and olive fruit oil and beeswax and jojoba seed oil or, I don't know, it's that. It has a J in it, for crying out loud, it's a J. I like this. I like how moisturising it is. I feel like when I use um, Burt's Bees stuff, I get like a, I like my acai berry one, but I like this more. I like how moisturising this is and I feel, I like that I don't have to keep putting it on again and putting it on again and feeling like it's not doing anything. It really is doing something and I like it. She also picked me up one of these Maybelline baby lips thingies and I've never seen these, so it must be an American thing, but she picked me up this one in a really dark purple. And while it's not lipstick, it's a lip balm, it does have um, a hue, so if I just put it on my hand, you can oh, put it on the wrong place, like a donut. There we go. You can see it has a hue, so it's not like it's a really, it's not like it's really pigmented. It just has a purple hue over the top. It smells like grape jelly beans, and I, those are my favorite. That's like my favorite flavor, them and the watermelon ones. But um, this is really nice, and I like it that it's a lip balm, and I like that it has a tint through it, so I can put it on on top of a lipstick that I have. This is gorgeous, and I loved this. I love the fact that it has a hue over the top of it. I love how moisturising it is, and I really want us to get them in the UK. Oh, apparently the shade is called Twenty Grapevine, and it has SPF twenty in it. All that good stuff. Apparently, it's for when you go out into the sun. I'm guessing we don't have sun in England, so. <laughs> Some more stuff from the Esther Carrots line. I'm guessing Shaw is like a big obsessive from with the Esther Carrots, but. I'm with her on this. I hear her. 
because I like it too. She picked me up these two lip glosses. I'm leaning forward now to show you. And this one is in Carrot Kiss, and this one's in Red Hot. That's what it looks like. I like the colour. It smells nice. I'll be honest, that is stunning. It's not the colour that I'm talking about, because I like the colour anyway, but the feel of it is stunning. It is not sticky, it's not gloopy, it's smooth, and it feels sort of... I'm going to put it on again then to describe it. It's a similar consistency to Vaseline, albeit a little thicker, Ooh -ah. but I do like the consistency, and I like the fact that it doesn't feel sticky. The consistency is so nice, so yay! Thank you so much, Shah. These are gorgeous. Very happy bunny over here. She also picked me up the Too Faced Lip Bronzer, and I've used this underneath this new Dusty Carrots one over the top of a, Bella, a Becca lip tint. And I'll be honest, it's like a regular lip gloss. I like the consistency, but what I like most about it is the fact that it's... It looks like this in the tube. Let me just get some out. Like, right, like that. That's what it looks like when it comes out of the tube. That's what it looks like on skin. It's very pigmented. But what I like is that once you blend it out a bit... Can you see? It's this one here. It's got like a nudish tone, but it's got this amazing sheen on it. It's really nice, and I used it for the tutorial that I'll put up after this video at some point. It's really nice, and I really, really liked it. So I'm pleased with that. And she also put in this Be Fine lip exfoliator, and she said that some of this had come in her birch box that she already had, so she sent it on to me because I haven't got a subscription to any of those things. Um, and I've liked it, actually. I've been using it again after using my... Sonic Lens, and I like it. I like the fact that it smells like oatmeal. Um, I don't eat oatmeal, but I like the smell of it. But I like it. I like the fact that it's got, it's got like the little beads, like, you know, the little pieces of oat protein, obviously they're in there, to exfoliate. But I also love the formulation of the actual products. It's very moisturizing. I always feel like my lips are, are full of like night cream. I don't know how to explain it. It feels really nice, so I like this a lot. She put in a test of this Pangea, or Pangea? I'm gonna go with Pangea. Organics facial scrub and it's Egyptian geranium with adzuki bean and cranberry. Adzuki is a cool word. Um, what I like about this, I'm guessing this also came in her birch box. It's obviously some more natural organic stuff and I like that for my face. And I like the exfoliating stuff in it as well. And I like the smell even. I just, I like the product in general. I use it after cleansing though. Some people would say like use it before, like exfoliate before cleansing, but I find after tried and testing it, it works better after I've used my Sonic Lens, so I find like I get a better feel. My skin looks and feels better afterwards. So this is really nice. Um, it's much gentler than the St. Ives of Apricot, or we say Apricot in the UK, um, the St. Ives Apricot Scrub. It's much, much softer. That one's very harsh and abrasive on my skin, so I don't touch it. I don't like it. But this is much nicer, and all in all, I like it. I think I have to keep using it to really get a, a good effect out of it, but I do like it. It, it gives my skin a nice feel after cleansing, so... That's that. We have some Blink Mascara. Now I tried this yesterday evening and I like the finish that it gave my lashes. It was a very natural finish. At the moment I'm wearing Max Opulash with Volume Million Lashes. I always use two mascaras at the same time. I'm weird like that. But with this one, obviously I just used it on its own because you're not supposed to put anything else on. And the thing I like, apart from the fact that you don't have to use makeup remover, you just like put warm water and pressure and you can just tug them off and it looks like your eyelashes are falling out but really it's just the magic tubes. Um, I really liked it. I like the fact that you don't have to worry about your mascara running down your face and I like the fact that it doesn't like smudge or fall off during the day. That was something I really liked about it. This is what the tube looks like, the actual mascara tube. And the actual wand, it's just like a, a spoolie. I do like the tube, the tube concept, I just think they need to make a better brush so that you get a better, a better finish on your lashes because I like really long I like my eyes just to look kind of fluffy and I don't want them to look like short and stumpy and boring but I did like it. I did like it on the whole so I like the concept. The concept is what got me. Sorry I just had a text. The concept is what I really liked. She also sent me a Rimmel London waterproof eyeliner and it says like exaggerate and it's in 250 emerald sparkle and I have an MUA liner like this and it's like this shh, desist. It's like this green and it's stunning. I'll put it on Swatch it for you. There you go. Gorgeous. And it again really reminds me of the liner that Jojo is wearing in her new music video for Disaster on her under eyes. It's lovely and I love this because I love wearing coloured liner. 
under my eyes with regular liner on top, so I was very happy bunny with that. But the things that I like the most, I'm gonna go with, are the Wet n Wild eyeshadow trios that she got for me. I have never tried Wet n Wild because we do not have it in the UK, but I will swatch some of these for you because the eyeshadows are so unbelievably pigmented and I really loved the formulation, I just love it. They kind of remind me of Urban Decay eyeshadows in that respect, you know, that they're heavily pigmented and you get a really good colour payoff. Look at this, that's the gold I've just tried, and look at the colour payoff. So good. I've never tried Wet n Wild, but I really like this. I thought it was fast, fabulous. I don't know, just that colour payoff is just fantastic. In my opinion, I just think it's fantastic, so I can't wait to use those in tutorials, try them out, etc, etc. But I was really pleased with those. And she sent me a tester of the Urban Decay Primer Potion in... Greed. So that's cool. I love Urban Decay Primer Potion, and I don't know if we've got this shade in the UK yet, so that's awesome. So that is everything that Char got for me, and I love, I love everything, I'll be honest. There is nothing here that I don't like. I'm really, really pleased with everything. We're hoping to do another one of these in the near future. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, I hope you guys enjoyed what she picked up for me, and bits and bobs, and other than that, have a great day, wherever you are, please subscribe if you haven't already, hit the button up above my head, and um, like the video, leave me a comment, add it to your favourites, do whatever, I don't really mind, each their own, <laughs> um, yeah, but other than that, have a great day wherever you are, and I will see you guys soon with my next video, and subscribe to Shah, BebeDollXOXO, and I'll put the link here again because you need to spell it correctly. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.